transport after trying to avoid another vehicle. Miraculously, no one was hurt. The mangled wreckage of not so much the fire engine, but a car in its path. A red metro entirely flattened by the impact. Other vehicles were alongside. The crew of retained firefighters from South Malton were driving at speed. They were responding to an emergency call, but instead found themselves dealing with their own. I think that fire engine driver deserves a medal. It really was quite frightening, and, and the thought... ...to the crash, neither the firefighters nor the driver of the vehicle that pulled out in front of them were injured, just shocked. A police investigation, led by officers only too mindful of the dangers of driving to other emergencies, began almost immediately. There's obviously sympathy, and um, being an emergency service driver myself for many years, uh, you can't help but feel sorry for the driver. Um, the main fact is here that no one is injured, um, and at the end of the day, damage can be repaired. We try and uh, dry, uh, train our drivers to the highest standards. Uh, they are given blue light training to specifically drive emergency service vehicles under these conditions. They're refreshed on a regular basis and they are trained to a standard which is to train drivers to drive defensively. The vehicle is estimated to have cost around £150,000 and insurers are yet to assess the value of the damage to the other vehicles involved. One painful irony, the red metro had just been sold to a friend of the driver of the fire engine. Richard Lawrence for West Country News. A special task force has been set up at Cross near South Moulton, but as John Ayres reports, some of the fire officers suffered shock. The fire crew were on their way to a 999 call at Brayford when the accident happened at around midday. The driver of the fire engine swerved to avoid hitting a car in the road, clipped the car and crashed into several vehicles on a garage forecourt. There was a car and the car tomorrow. No one was physically hurt, but some of the retained fire officers from South Moulton suffered from shock. Another crew went to tackle the incident at Brayford. They're all in a state of shock, yeah, they're upset. The driver is uh, obviously upset as well. Thankfully, there are no physical injuries to them. Uh, and I have to say that we do train our drivers to a, what we consider to be a high standard. We train them to drive under blue light conditions. We train them to drive defensively, but to make progress as well. An investigation will now be carried out by the police and the fire service will have an internal inquiry. The vehicle inspectorate will also check the fire engine to see if there were any problems which may have contributed to the accident.